and now I will sing. <laughs> A wandering minstrel, I. Little bull come. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by comedian Nick Kroll. You know him from Kroll's show in The League. His hit Broadway show, Oh Hello, is coming to Netflix this month. And you can catch him in Captain Underpants, which is in theaters now. Nick, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So you guys have your own one now, Hot Ones? Yep, Hot Ones. A little product placement, isn't it? Ethically, how, is that? How, do, how are you on that? I'm good Eth on it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Ethically, I'm I'm a little concerned that all of a sudden you guys are sliding your that, own hot sauce into the mix here. There's yeah, gotta be a separation of church and state. This whole show is just basically so we can get celebrities to give de facto <laughs> endorsements for our sauce and yeah. then just scale out of business that way. Hey, I'm Nick Kroll. I'm on Hot Ones. And this sauce, Hot One sauce, can suck a dick. <laughs> All right, so this first one is sriracha. Sriracha is no big deal. It's not, but I do like that you guys, these are cold. So this is my <laughs> first touch of the wing. This is a cold wing. So that's how we're starting. It's a, it's hot ones. I have a cold one on hot ones. <laughs> All right, so I want to start by taking it back to your time at the mountain school. Okay, great. Because from what I understand, it's this sort of teenager hippie commune in the mm -hmm. middle of nowhere, Vermont. Yes. Uh, what was that like? Uh, that was like the best experience of my life. You live on a farm in, yeah, in the rural Vermont, like 45 kids and you run around and uh, hike and uh, have solos and feed cows and muck shit. There was a lot of mucking of shit. I find, um, I am I was out last night, first of all, I'm hungover. Second of all. Good. This is um, quite the uh, hangover. Yeah, no, I was right thinking here. about that. I was like, oh, this is gonna be fine. This is like, <laughs> This is like a Saturday, like going to Old Town Tavern. I mean, like, can I have some wings and a Diet Coke, please? <laughs> I feel like Tabasco's kind of been left in the dust. Tabasco's like that first hot sauce in the game. And then you're like, eh, it's like Jamiroquai. I appreciate you, man. You, you, you did some important work for me, but end of the day, you know, I want to hear Outcast. I want to talk about your time at the league because yes. for a lot of fans, it's untouchable. Of all the guest spots that you had, uh -huh. which athlete was the best comedic actor? Um, Terrell Suggs was very funny. J.J. Watt is unbelievably talented. Chad Ochocinco had four phones on him. We were in Vegas with him and he, he started tweeting pictures of himself in his pajamas at the slots at like 4 a.m. And I was like, this is a lonely man. Is it true that you slept through your alarm clock on the first day of filming? I'm always good on the first day of filming. It's the second day you get cocky. You're like, I did it. I got to work on time. I did my job. And then the second day you wake up panicked to like a text being like, hey, just checking on where you are. And you're like, right now I am dead asleep 45 minutes away from where I'm supposed to be. And if you look in the pilot, there's like one day where like Ruxin's got bedhead and it's not, it was not a character choice. It was like, I literally slept through the first, uh, the first scene. This is bull semen? Yes. <laughs> Squeezed it this morning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so your friend Aziz Ansari has yeah. become this food pop culture guru, which I imagine some has some- Some might say he's just become an icon. But especially in this food space, yes. which is important to you, mm -hmm. because I bet that there are some fringe benefits to yeah. being a go-to eating buddy of Aziz. Yes. Aziz has turned me on to a ton of good food over the years, but he is very particular about what he will eat, and, and the. but he has turned me on to some killer food over the years. And my first weird spit Thing. just came out out of nowhere. Normally that only happens when you yawn and talk at the same time. Not on hot ones. Not on hot ones. Happen. That was like a true weird release of fluid from me that I was not in control of at all. I'm trying to think, what was the last meal I had with him? I was at his house and he made brick oven pizza. He's got like a cool brick oven and he knows how to make like proper Neapolitan pizza. It's delicious, but I'm like, bro, oven's fucking hot enough, let's go. I'm not tasting the coffee. I am tasting that wolf though. 
I want to talk to you yeah. about Oh Hello. Great. Because like our show, yes. it kind of puts its celebrity guests into this uncomfortable yes. interview yeah. format. But instead of making people eat hot wings, we make them eat too much tuna fish. <laughs> And we load that tuna in in the earlier in the afternoon. So I understand your food prep thing here, guys. It's like, a logistical get, challenge. It's a logistical challenge <laughs> about like, when are you gonna get those wings? The difference being, maybe your wings are cold when someone eats it. Uh, in our case, it's a huge tuna sandwich that's been sitting under the lights on a Broadway stage for hours before the show waiting to be dropped down on a weird silver platter with little wings on the side. Do you get some sort of sadistic pleasure out of unleashing Gil and George on these celebrity guests and your famous friends? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they do. Because when you're doing it through a character, it's like You can anything. get away with anything. It happens also that John is like the fastest, funniest person on the planet. And so he's doing a lot of the dancing. And then I'm, both of us can sort of pop in and just <laughs> give someone a shot in the, in the kidney. I just had a weird uh, wing burp. It's got, it's sweet up front. There's a little sweet on the front. Mm -hmm. That's a good wing. Hot one sauce. A lot of love and care went into it. So the next part of our show is a recurring segment we have called Explain That Gram. And what we do is we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram. We pull interesting pictures that need more context. Great. So I'll show you the picture and then you just tell me the bigger story. Does I'm that bummed good? that I'm not the picture I was gonna post on my way up here of a old man in a biking outfit on a bike with a cigarette in his mouth. I hadn't gotten that up on the gram by the time I could explain it, which I guess I just did. So there we go. Is this from a high school yearbook or where That's is this from? That's from camp. That's from another one of the privileged things that I did in my life. But truly more than anything, it's the quote, which is get serious, Nikki. And I feel like I'm reading that quote to myself every day. What do you remember about your high school basketball days playing point guard? I was a solid uh, seventh grade point guard in my Jewish day school. Peaked kind of early. Peaked in eighth grade. Athletically peaked in eighth grade, for sure. So I got to high school and maybe five, five one. But I understood the game. Really? You know what I mean? You distributed the ball. I was a good, I have good court sense. I had good, good awareness. Not a great shooter. You don't have to be a point guard. You do now. That's the bummer. Steph Curry fucked everything up. Oh. Uh, me and Joan Rivers. On a plane. On a plane together. That was uh, before she died. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't, this is not a picture from after Joan Rivers died. This was one of the best fights I ever had. I'm gonna name drop a few times. Love it. I saw Bradley Cooper, a dear friend. We go to the bookstore, he bought me a neck pillow. Sweet. And then we get on the plane, and I'm seated next to Joan Rivers, who I know a little bit. She. Uh, was so fast because she's dead now. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah, no right. longer alive. So if you see again, if you see Joan Rivers on a plane, someone has put her there. She is not alive anymore. She is dead. Um, all the flight attendants knew her. She had brought them gifts. She really like loved these people and they loved her. We sit. We're about to take off. We're you know putting our seatbelts on. She goes, watch this. Looking at Bradley Cooper, she goes, this plane is going to crash and the headline is going to read, Bradley Cooper and two comedians died today. <laughs> Can we get a quick battery swap? Oh, yeah, yeah. Again? Just for me? Yes. How many of these do you do a week? If we backload them, uh -huh. then I'll have like easier weeks. But then if our bank, like our reserve runs dry, mm -hmm. then you'll have to start stacking them. So I've done as many as three in a week before. <clears throat> do you eat a lot of wings the rest of the... <laughs> no, like yeah. it's ruined wings for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, and two, it's like... You probably get this challenge is like sometimes I'm like, oh, does anybody want to work with me when it's not wings? You know what I mean? Of course. <laughs> Where it's like, yeah. like, you know, like Food Network call be like, what about a travel oh, series where you go you and make the wings? best wings in America? You're you know, like, like, you you're like, I'm done with the wings. This is, yeah, I've been typecast as like the wing guy. I know. I've been typecast as the like handsome romantic lead. <laughs> <clears throat> it must be tough. It's tough. It's tough to be treated like an object. I'll tell you that much. It's nice. So your dad worked mm -hmm. for what the New York Times called a private CIA mm -hmm. and was even chosen by the Kuwaiti government to track down Saddam Hussein's hidden assets. Yes. And I wonder what it must be like to be in high school trying to hide weed mm -hmm. from one of the most prominent private investigators in the world. Mm -hmm. Um, shout out to Jules Kroll. 
<laughs> I wouldn't call it the private CIA. I mean, the New York Times might have called it that, but I'm a more reputable uh, journalistic institution. Sure. One time I got caught, some girl ratted me out. Like I had a party and some girl like told her mom about the party. And my dad like woke me up the next morning and then like very quickly and succinctly interrogated me where I had no choice but to be very honest with him very quick. It was just, it was such a shock. He did some crazy stuff, but the truth is, is my mom was really the one who knew what was going on. <clears throat> and this is gluten free? Yeah, it's gluten free. Okay. The zombies' brains are out? Is that how it works? I thought zombies wanted to eat brains. Well, a zombie is just dead. So if you were to die in some sort of situation where you had your skull split open, then yeah. maybe you would just have exposed brain. Sure. Kick it or, in a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what, I'm, I'm just wondering if like a zombie, like if they eat brains, like they just start to eat their own brains like just slowly, snack. slowly get in there. So for my money, Kroll Show is one of the best character showcases that's ever been on Comedy Central, and that's really saying something. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is ask you some food questions, but there's a little bit of a twist. Now that the zombie apocalypse uh -huh. is sort of soaking in, yeah. I'd like you to channel some of those classic mm. personalities. Oh, that's interesting. To try to answer yeah. these food questions. For Bobby Bottle Service, yeah. what are the do's and don't do it when it comes to ordering off a VIP menu? Bobby would be so psyched to be on this show, I'd be like, we're all fucking chicken wings shot in. Dad, Bobby's VIP at Hooters. Very much VIP at Hooters, bro. He has as many wings as he wants, though. To Aspen, what is Dunch? Dunch, there we go, the research was Dunch. Dunch is, uh, it's all chicken wings, but it's all sous vide, because like, honestly, who has the time to bite through bone? You just wanna be able to like, we're sending an intern to get coffee, is what does Liz G want? I'm doing, can I do a sriracha smoothie, please? Does water help or not? I'm sure you've done the studies and this is like, again, what about bull semen? Is bull semen, is that, does that? Bull semen is the leading mm. reliever <laughs> of hot sauce pain. Wow, it's very interesting. Um, Cause you, you get, you start to get cocky. I was like, this show's not so fucking hard. <clears throat> and you watch everybody do the show, mm -hmm. and you decide whether they're trying to play cool or they're leaning into the heat. And you're like, could I ignore it if I wanted to? What are you feeling now? Now that you're actually experiencing it? I guess it medically would be described as mouth gonorrhea. Da bomb, beyond insanity. This is like, oh it is, and it's literally a bomb. It's well, like, it's not literally a bomb. I would No, this not. is a bomb. It is. Here we are in the Time Life building. <laughs> I am strapped with a bomb. I want this on camera. We all clear on this, guys? <clears throat> okay. Mm hmm. Do people send you sauces trying to get on the show now? It's crazy. Dude, you must be fucking swimming in a hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude. 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 I got <coughs> <laughs> There it is. It's the back of the throat that catches you. <clears throat> and now I will sing. A wandering minstrel eye. Bull come. Ooh. <sighs> Alright, I'm ready to shoot my my parents' death scene now. I just miss him every day. I don't know why I pushed him off that bridge. <laughs> I just miss him. That's a sleeper. Real tears right there. Be careful with the napkins, you know. There's hands, there's sauce, there's face, there's eyes. Wow! <laughs> oh, there, and now I, ha I straight up have that sauce in my eyes. I straight up have that sauce in my eyes. Has pe people have done that before, right? Yeah, you're not the first one to go down this road. Oh, wow. Woo! And there's a buzz now. This is the buzz that people have talked about. Mm -hmm. 
So you like, had straight up, I have like a vibrating on the side of my head. Yeah, yeah, it's all normal, it's all normal. No need to panic. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had the distinction of playing a pig and sing, and an actual douche in that Seth Rogen movie Sausage Party. Yeah. From the outside looking in, voice acting looks like the cushiest gig in Hollywood, but I know that there's something about it that has to suck. What do people not know about the plight of a voice actor? That you eventually go on a show to promote it, and the side of your <laughs> face starts to vibrate. Wow. And I keep getting, you don't do a handy wipe or anything. Another non-absorbent napkin, great. Wow, I feel like I'm straight up tripping. Is it like actual acting? Do you get into a headspace or you just get into the booth and start talking? I do. I do the work. You know what I mean? I do the work. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm voice acting, I get out there, I do my best. <laughs> I do the work. I take the time. I commit. All right, wow, now. this is crazy. Mm -hmm. This is more than... This is, you can't imagine it. Right. I've never, my face has never vibrated like this before. Am I wearing a Hawaiian shirt? It's like getting married. Yeah, it's like you're, <laughs> you're, you're like, having some cold feet on yeah, this one. You're like, all right. <laughs> is this for the rest of my life? No one's ever rectally eaten the wings? You'd Have be you the ever, first person to ever do it. Should we butt chug? Some mad dog? <laughs> some mad dog? <laughs> yeah. That's some rich dick shit right there. It's like, honestly, I don't even taste hot sauce anymore. I need to soak a tampon in mad dog 357 and then butt chug it. I don't want to eat the other half of it, but I feel like I also don't want to not do my best. You commit, you commit, whoa. You know. I don't have anything to say. So in 2007, you moved to LA and you did what a lot of aspiring actors and comedians do where you moved into the Oakwood Apartments. Yeah. What was that living experience like? Because that place has this sort of notorious reputation as being this sort of island of misfit toys, like a Hollywood's version of a roach motel. Well, like Mad Dog 357, the Oakwood sneaks up on you, and it's only a few minutes later that you realize that you've done something terrible to your body. They have like a little store, and the store is covered in children's headshots, like brooding six-year-old boys, like that. And it's one of the sadder places in the world. Ooh, your Mad Dog does sneak up on you. Mm-hmm. I am lactose intolerant. And you're risking it all. Wait, is, does bulls come have lactose in it? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's a good bit. I wish I had, uh, <laughs> Wish you were on, this, that I was on I film? Was, I wish I had that line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's the highest praise something someone can say to you. I'm lactose, yeah. and if I would have said, <laughs> Do, yeah. Yeah, you know, that would have been great. That would have been great, but you know what? Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity for you. For, for me. me. Home run. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, shake it up. All right, so this is Blair's Mega Death Sauce. I just want to add some motion With sickness into this. Maybe if I think I'm going to throw up, I'll think about the hot sauce less. All right, Nick, it is tradition around here to dab the last wing. Dab? We're going to dab? Dab it up. You don't have to if you don't want to. We're gonna dab. Oh, is that the cool thing to do right now? Oh yeah, Nick. That's a, that's looks. You look very cool right now. <laughs> that's funny. I've never dabbed before. Look at I'm, Nick going for the dab. I do it like that, like it's just a little bit of something. <laughs> oh, oh, too much. Here we go. I put more on here than you did. I'm a little concerned with it. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to switch wings? We could do that. Oh, this is like a Princess Bride moment. Mm-hmm. I know that you want to switch chicken wings with me. Wait, what? What is? How does Wallace Shawn do it? Is it? 
inconceivable. It's inconceivable. In, it's in the back of the throat. It's driving me crazy that I can't nail the accent, so I'm bailing on the bit. I think that you did nail the accent, and you know what's amazing to me, Nick Kroll? You're now the second guest really? to do that impression. So who was it? Jordan Peele. Right okay, what, what happens and if this I... whole thing is inconceivable? Huh. <laughs> fucking, yeah. Great minds. Great minds. The, Jordan Peele might have the best mind. <laughs> All right, cheers, Nick. Cheers to Jordan Peele. I'm gonna eat this whole fucking thing, man. The zip. Oh, I have um, my yearly physical right after this. I think that some of your vitals are gonna be spiking. Yeah. We got your test results back. Uh, Mr. Kroll, you have been a tremendous amount of bull semen running through your system. <laughs> But to the kids out there, I just want you to know, we've said a lot of things today. We've joked I'm around not a lot. I'm not going to endorse marijuana. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to endorse alcohol abuse. And I'm for sure not going to tell you to go get a tampon, soak it in the hottest hot sauce you can find, and stick it up your butt, and then walk around all day. Very principled stand. It's brave of you, Nick. I'm saying don't do that. <sighs> we did it. Well, you know what you are officially is a champion, Nick Kroll, because you worked your way uh -huh. through the wings, yeah. a little nervous to start it out, but settled right in and got on top every single one of these. Is this not, can you see this not on my nose or could I just feel it? We film in 4K. Great. This camera, this camera, or this camera, let the people know what you have going on in your life. Hey, I'm Nick Kroll. You can see me uh, in Oh Hello on Broadway on Netflix with John Mulaney. I'm in the house at the end of the month. Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler, Jason Manzukis, amazing cast of people. Captain Underpants. I play Professor Poopy Pants. Uh, ooh, my ear just popped. How much money will you give me to stick this dab of death sauce napkin in my eye? I'll give you 175 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> One eighty. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? If you liked the video, maybe meet us halfway. Throw us a subscribe. If you didn't like the video, don't subscribe. I don't want you. I don't want you in the tent. But if you liked the video, subscribe. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I love you. More than a friend.